This is to show you the combination of the tactile view drawing software and a Braille editor, uh, Duxbury uh, Braille translator. Um, many of you would like to create a, a document that contains a text and a graphics, so we have made a combination of the two tools. Uh, we have on the screen uh, a document that has created by just a piece of uh, Wikipedia about some basic uh, shapes. And you see that this text contains uh, three paragraphs and we want to insert uh, images in, these, uh, in between these paragraphs uh, as they have been made with uh, Tacto View. Uh, Niels is going to show you as well some of this uh, while we get along. So. Uh, we will have some sort of conversation here. Yes, uh, when we start to add an image to this text file, I will go to the layout uh, menu, then picture and add, and I select the text of view uh, file that I want to insert. Mm -hmm. So this is a pre-made file that we have already created and we thought that makes uh, good uh, sense on this uh, position in the document here. Okay, now I've selected the file and as you can see right away the uh, image is inserted into the Duxbury text file. So internally there is a con uh, conversion uh, takes place. Uh, in fact, uh, Duxbury is calling the technology of uh, tactile view. Yes. Well, uh, let's add a second picture to this file. In this case, a graph of the area, surface area of the circle that we just uh, inserted. And now if we want to uh, adjust, make adjustments to one of the images, we can simply double click. And then we switch over to tactile view where you see the original uh, design that we inserted. And for example, we can add a square to this if we want. and also change the title. So now we have all the basic tools uh, that you uh, may already know from the Tactile View uh, left hand side uh, toolbar. Yeah, and uh, now if we want to save these adjustments we can simply click on this icon, uh, insert design in external text file or alternatively go to the file menu and insert design. And if I select that, we return to Duxbury, where you can see the square has been added to the image, as well as the text has been changed. Uh, as you may notice, the, the, the red border is also uh, enlarged, and this uh, dashed line uh, is surrounding uh, the, the total of what has been produced as the image. So including the text label that was inserted and the graphics. So the red line shows the extent of the image and the tactile view logo shows you, shows you that the image has been created with tactile view. So in case you would receive uh, such a Duxbury uh, a file that has images uh, inside, uh, you have to use tactile view again to make modifications to these uh, Im images. Well, another uh, adjustment that we would like to make to this document, to this second image, is that we want to add a second graph for the area of the square that we just created. We can do this using MathType, a regular uh, math editor. I will copy this formula for the uh, area and then select the graph in tactile view and with this function we can add a new function to the graph. In this case you see a preview of the uh, formula as well as a Braille representation in this case in Nemeth. So we have two uh, graphs in one grid uh, based on the two formulas that we were just explaining. Yes, and uh, as you can see here there is a uh, visual representation, so x squared, as well as the Braille representation. Now we can save these changes again and we return to Duxbury where you can see the new version of the graph. So the, uh, the image uh, is replaced as well as the text 
uh, labels that are related uh, inside the image. Yes, and now you still see the uh, visual representation of the formulas, but if we start to translate this text pre document uh, using Control G, we get a Braille representation. And if I scroll down to the formula, you can see that there's a Nemeth uh, representation of the formula. So in case the, page, the image would take up more space than there is available on the page, uh, the Braille editor would uh, Im uh, automatically take a new uh, page, so the image will go down and you might have some blank space on the, on the page. Uh, this is what we would like to show you. Um, before you all can enjoy it, uh, we have to come up with this official new releases.